Hey everyone, welcome back to Manuals Plus. Today, we're elaborating the connect, activate, and plugin of Infinity Advanced Wi-Fi Gateway Modem. Let's get started. Inside the box, two coaxial cables, one power cord, Ethernet cable to connect via Ethernet instead of Wi-Fi. Plug-in. Connect your coax cable and power cord to your Wi-Fi Advanced Gateway. Then, connect your coax cable to the cable outlet and plug your power cord into an electrical outlet without a dimmer or wall switch. For Infinity Voice customers, connect your telephone to the Tel1 connection on your gateway using a telephone cord. Your gateway may take up to 20 minutes to boot up, don't unplug it. The LED light on the top of your gateway will blink green and yellow. Wait until this light remains solid white for 6 to seconds, then you're ready to move on. How to connect Access the Wi-Fi settings on your personal device. Then, select the network name, which is shown as SID, from your gateway noted in Step 1 and join using the password from Step 1. If you're asked to enter a PLN, select Connect using a security key and enter the same password from Step 1. Connect with Ethernet If you do not have a Wi-Fi capable device or if you prefer an Ethernet connection, Plug one end of the provided Ethernet cable into an Ethernet port on your gateway and the other end into the port on your computer. If this worked, the LEDs next to the Ethernet ports on your gateway will light up. How to activate Once connected, if you're not automatically directed to a setup screen, open a web browser and go to register.infinity.com. Follow the steps to verify your account and set up your Wi-Fi network. After setup is complete, Go to Wi-Fi settings on your device, wait to see your personalized Wi-Fi name listed and join using your password. If you're using a battery backup, refer to the steps in that guide once your gateway is activated. Infinity Home Customers After your gateway is up and running, confirm that your Infinity Home service is working by completing a connectivity test. Just go to your Infinity Home touchscreen and select Settings, then go to Advanced Settings, and then go to Connectivity. If the broadband connectivity test fails, please reboot and run the test again. To reboot, go to Settings, then go to Advanced Settings, and then tap Reboot Touch Screen. Thanks for tuning in with Manuals Plus today. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more handy tutorials. Catch you in the next video.